Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you've never been here before, I am Jen. I'm an esthetician and this is my skincare and makeup and beauty channel. Today what we're going to be talking about is pitted acne scars. A lot of you guys ask about pitted acne scars on my TikTok, on my Instagram. So I thought I'd go into like a deep dive video here on what are pitted acne scars and how to treat them and get rid of them completely. If you're not already subscribed, definitely subscribe, join the fam. We're on our road to 100,000 subscribers and um, should it only take 10 more years. I'm gonna pull up my computer here. We're gonna talk about pitted acne scars. I'm gonna tell you what they are first in case you don't know, this is what they are right here. I'll put this on the screen. Pitted acne scars occur when you have a pimple that leaves a mark on your skin that's a textural change. It's not just a tone. It's not just like a pigment change. It's actually a texture change as well. And this occurs because the pimple actually, when it dies, it takes the collagen with it. You need to resurface the entire epidermis and even down to the dermis sometimes. So this is a picture of what the skin looks like. As you see, there's the epidermis and the dermis, and then the epidermis, there's five different layers to the epidermis. Cystic pimple actually occurs underneath the epidermis, near the dermis. So the dermis is inflamed, and when that goes away, the collagen and the epidermis actually sinks in. There isn't just like one solution. There's not just like one thing that you do to get rid of them. It's a multifaceted endeavor, resurfacing the surface of your skin. You must get your breakouts in order first in order to like want to do any of these procedures because some of them are very expensive. So, and they're also very aggressive. So if you're still breaking out on a regular basis, you might want to hold off. This is for those who have gotten their acne out under control and now want to start repairing the skin, which is my favorite part. So the right treatment for the pitted scar is going to balance chemical exfoliation potentially dermal rolling at home, professional microneedling, lasers, chemical peels, a prescription retinoid, and a good skincare routine. And the skincare routine, what makes it good is it's going to support your barrier and it's going to make your skin as healthy as possible. When you support the skin barrier, the skin is going to be very healthy. You need your skin in optimal condition, non-irritated, and very healthy, very strong barrier so that you can do these advanced procedures without your skin flaring up or getting a serious reaction to it. Now, it really just depends on your budget. If you have a low budget, it's going to be a different treatment than if you have a high budget. So I'm gonna go over both extremes and then you guys can kind of like cherry pick what you think is best for you. Now, your at-home routine should be very simple either way. You don't want anything irritating in your everyday skincare routine and you don't want it to be extensive either. You don't want a routine with like actives on actives on actives. You want to keep it as basic as possible. Keep it as basic as possible. Stick to Cetaphil, CeraVe, or something like that. That's fine. Just keep it like a moisturizer, a cleanser, and a makeup remover, okay? Just keep it very, very simple. You want to be strategic with the actives you use. You want a retinoid and you want an alpha hydroxy acid. You need to sprinkle those in here and there. If you have a low budget, this is what you should do. You should get an at-home derma roller and you should use it once per week. Use it once a week, like for a time but not for years. Like you should use your derma roller maybe once a week to start, maybe for the first like four to six to eight weeks until you really get going and start to see a difference. And if that's too harsh for your skin too, drop it to like once a month, do it every other week. You need to figure out what works for your skin. And you should rotate it with using a retinoid and a lactic acid. You need to be rotating those three components. Derma roller, lactic or glycolic acid, and a retinoid. This is a marathon, not a race. You're gonna to have to put a lot of time in between. Each time you derma roll, you need to put two or three days on either side. You need to go based on how your skin reacts to things. You need to use your own skin tuition for this. This is an example of a skincare routine incorporating a retinoid and a lactic acid, because I prefer lactic acid. So week one, you would use a retinoid every other day. Week two, use a lactic acid every two days. And then you just rotate. So retinoid, nothing. Retinoid, nothing. Retinoid, nothing, nothing. Lactic, nothing, nothing. Lactic, nothing, nothing. Retinoid, nothing. Retinoid, nothing. Does that make sense? So you would just rotate every other week 
do rotate between your alpha hydroxy acid and your retinoid every other week. Now, if you want to incorporate them all, just all the time on a consistent basis, you would do retinoid, retinoid, skip a day, alpha hydroxy acid, skip a day, retinoid, skip a day, etc. You have to really be intuitive with this process because it really depends on your skin and your how your skin reacts, how sensitive you are and whatnot. But those are examples of like an at-home routine incorporating actives. That's an example of that. Now, you would want to stop this routine, these actives, like I said, within one to two weeks of going in to get a professional treatment. This is because you want your skin to be not sensitive at all. When you go in, you want to have no sensitivity. You want your skin to be very strong and healthy when you go in for these procedures. And after a while, you can build up your tolerance and see what your skin can tolerate. I like to put my retinoid over my moisturizer sometimes because if it's just too harsh and my skin is getting too sensitive, that's what I do. If you want to buffer your retinoid by using your moisturizer first and then put retinoid on top. And this goes without saying, but you need to become obsessed with sunscreen. Sunscreen degrades collagen and also changes the pigment in your skin, enhances any pigment in your skin. And the ingredients that you're incorporating and the treatments that you're doing are making your skin so much more sensitive to the sun, it's not even funny. So you will become incredibly photosensitive. Any discoloration you have will become enhanced if you do not use sunscreen in order to protect your skin. So make sure you're reapplying throughout the day as well. Now you should also get a consultation by a professional for professional microneedling from a derm, a plastic, or a trusted esthetician. This is going to run you probably around $300, but if you can do this maybe like once or twice a year, if you incorporate that professional treatment with your at-home treatment, you will start to see a difference for sure. The reason you're gonna see a difference is because one, derm rolling, punctures your skin slightly, forcing collagen to regrow. The retinoid is going to speed up cell turnover and this is going to help your new fresh skin cells start to reproduce more and get rid of the old skin cells which are damaged and then the alpha hydroxy acid is going to help to speed up cellular proliferation which means the old skin cells on the surface of the skin are going to slough off faster and more rapidly and it's also going to slightly resurface the skin the epidermis the outermost layer of the epidermis and even a layer or two down in the epidermis the issue is that obviously the scars go all the way down to the dermis which can be at least like a couple millimeters that is why you need to get more professional microneedling treatments done professional microneedling treatments they utilize a needle of about three millimeters that go all the way down and that's why it breaks up that tissue and rumbles everything up shakes everything up and forces collagen to start reproducing on every layer of skin and also breaks up that scar tissue from where the scar is. So that's why you need to mix in professional treatments as well. You will see a difference, it is worth the money. Save up for a microneedling, professional microneedling treatment. Make sure you go somewhere that they know what the hell they're doing. Do not go to like a random Groupon girl. You want to save the money and go to someone professional for this. Moving on for a high budget, you wanna keep the same type of at-home routine, a very basic at-home routine. Get a retinoid, get a lactic or glycolic acid, get your like daily cleanser, moisturizer, etc. although you don't really need to derma roll if you are going to have a high budget because you are going to be going in for professional treatments every, you know, six weeks or so. You wanna let your skin heal in between those times. What you wanna do is find plastic surgeons in your area, schedule consultations with them, and figure out what kind of skin treatments they have for the scars that you're looking to remove. If you really want strong textural changes, you want to go see a professional plastic surgeon and find out what treatments they offer, what advanced resurfacing treatments they offer. The best treatments that you can do are professional microneedling with PRP, with radio frequency, Fraxel laser, you can do a CO2 laser. CO2 laser is like the top of the food chain, it's the most advanced one. Fraxel is also really good. You wanna find something that will resurface your skin and I think the CO2 laser is probably the best for that based on the consultations I've gone on. You can go maybe like every eight weeks to get a new treatment. During this time, you need to commit to keeping your skincare routine really simple. Another treatment that's out there is I don't actually know what this is called, but doctors take like a scapula, I think it's called, and like they go in under the epidermis, between the epidermis and the dermis, and they like scrape and disconnect 
the adhesion between the epidermis and the dermis because that's what's like creating that depression is like there's like an adhesion between the dermis and the epidermis also that forces collagen production as well and you will see a dramatic difference in your acne scars with these tips in a year you'll see a dramatic difference with the lower budget plan but with the higher budget plan within a year they might be gone it just depends on how quickly your skin will regenerate and how committed you are to this journey that's that that is how you get rid of pitted acne scars i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next video bye